Good morning to you all. Cheers, I got my coffee this morning. I went on probably like a two week kick without any coffee, but I was too weak, I gave in again. The coffee here in Panama is unbelievable. It's actually all grown in the region that we've been staying in. So it's seriously it's some of the best of the best stuff. So, for those of you guys who uh, don't know the 411, Jordan and I are looking to buy lands here in Panama um, and it's most likely going to happen. So today I'm going to bring you guys along and share with you guys some other reasons that we haven't really talked about on our Nomadic Movement channel of why I am so excited. <coughs> God bless you. I'm not excited about the allergies. <laughs> Gotta get some more honey. I know. I am so excited to plant our feet stay in one place for a little while and slow the hell down. You think we should show them our, uh, yes. our favorite? So we went a couple days ago and found the best plot of land that we've looked at thus far. We've looked at probably 20 plots of land. We've seen so many realtors and we found, I think, to be the one. So the second we got the printout of the sheet, I posted it up here on our little vision board so, do you guys want to see this place? Let's go check it out. Still got your pearls hanging by my bed. We're breaking in, going through the barbed wire fence. When the realtor brought us here the other day, this is how we got in. Put that there, that's nice and solid. Okay, let's climb through this thing. Ah! My Buddha pants are gonna get stuck, I know it. They're already getting stuck. Okay, okay, Whew. okay, we made it. All right, you guys, this is it. This is a land that we've come back to for the third time at this point. We are so, so in love with it. I mean, how can you not be? Look at this freaking view. That's Volcan Baru, which is the biggest point in Panama. We'd be able to see it from our own plot of land. How insane is that? Man, we've seen a lot of lots at this point and nothing, nothing has compared to this one. This is fucking it, dude. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've been here probably for a half hour, just taking it all in again, envisioning what this could possibly be. Now, it's time to go to my absolute favorite place, other than this spot. Let's head to the grocery store. That is my best representation of a smoothie bowl. It's definitely not my forte, but I will tell you, it's gonna be delicious. It was super simple. All it is, the base is just mango, ice, spinach, and oat milk, and that's it. Um, and then I just topped it with chia seeds, granola, and hemp seeds. So this kind of brings us into the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about that I'm super excited for to be stationary and to possibly live here for a while is having access to 
organic food and specialty health items which is something I really took for granted when we were traveling in the States. Um, you know, we usually used to shop a lot at Trader Joe's or sometimes Whole Foods if it was a special treat. But even like the regular grocery stores, you know, we really take for granted the amount of um, options that we have. You know, you don't get that down here. You, you really, really don't. When we found Boguete and we found this little organic uh, shop in town and you know, we realized how many organic farms are, are in this area because of how fertile the land is and how easy it is to grow. Um, it made me so incredibly happy. And honestly, like, that sounds so silly to choose a place based on a grocery store, but I never realized how important it was to me until six months ago when we crossed the border into Mexico and been traveling through Central America, how precious those things were in my life and how much I took it for granted. So. That is one thing I'm very excited about, and it just makes me super, super happy. So let's dig in. I'm actually gonna give that bowl to Jordan because I know he's starving. So let's see what he thinks. Love? You know? Have you I'm talking to my mom. Can you just take it? Thanks. Say hello to the camera. Sorry, I'm talking to my mom. I just want to let you know I did a horrible job on the presentation, but I promise you it'll be delicious. I think you did great. <laughs> Enjoy. And it's gone. Probably devoured that in like less than two minutes. <laughs> but I made this one look a lot better because we're actually putting out a cookbook, hopefully within the next month. I don't wanna make any promises quite yet because it's a lot of work. Um, and we're probably about halfway there of making the recipes and taking the photos and all that good stuff, which is the most important part. So I made this one look super beautiful. We got these cute little wooden bowls that we got from Costa Rica. So actually I'll put a little clip a little photo of the one that I just took. Um, it's super fun. I, I love being able to actually have the time now to focus on this cookbook that we have set out to do for the last two years. We just haven't really found the time or made the time to do it. So now that we're more stationary, it allows us to create more time for other projects and other things that we've wanted to accomplish but we just haven't made the time to do. So you can count on us to have a cookbook out for you guys very soon. What do you see out there? Huh, my little happy girl. <laughs> little bugger. I know. Oh boy, how can I resist that little belly rub? So I'm actually gonna head into town in just a couple minutes. Oh, it's super dark. Um, Jordan's at actually one of my favorite little places that I'll show you guys when we head into town. Uh, he's getting some work done, which I'm gonna go do the same in just a couple minutes. But I just wanna share with you guys a little something something that I learned a few months back. I don't remember which country we were in, but someone told us, somewhere in Central America, that if you're ever feeling nauseous or a sickness coming on, to pour a glass of water, squeeze a whole lime in there, and chug it, and it's supposed to kick whatever you don't want uh, in the butt. So, what Jordan and I learned is lime and water, eh, it's okay. But lime, water, and a little bit of stevia, phew, magical. It tastes like lemonade, but with lime. So I'm gonna chug this real quick, get my little hydration in for the day, and then I'll meet you guys in downtown. Bye, baby, I'll be right back. pear and that's because they sell coffee and chocolate and it's all locally made so let's go see if Jordan's still in here Hello. Hello. I'm just calling you no way yeah really just to make sure you're okay <laughs> I have to wait for the camera battery to charge up oh, okay did you get something oh, I've done so much really oh. I think I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate so usually, oh my god, it's super zoomed in. They don't even include the chocolate spoon unless you ask for it separately. But I've been here so many times at this point that I think this woman decided to throw in a free one for me. 
But guys, this hot chocolate though. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. There's some nice AC blowing through here right now. So I'm gonna post up for a while, reply to some emails, and enjoy this very delicious hot chocolate. What do you think, love? Do you think you could get used to eating there uh, or getting the coffee there every other day? It's such a good little spot to like hang out and work. The coffee's amazing, the chocolate's amazing. I really can't beat it. And that is another thing that I am so excited about is once you get hooked on a place and you're traveling, you're most likely never gonna go back there again unless you decide to travel back to that place. But we have fallen in love with so many little cafes and restaurants here that truly are just I mean, this one, this is amazing. One ever even and there's of. still so many that we haven't explored yet. So as we stay put, we have the opportunity to truly explore every single nook and cranny of this place. So now, it's time to head back to the bus. I gotta get a workout in. Okay, you guys, that felt so good. This brings us to the last thing I wanna tell you guys of what I'm excited for, for living here and being more stationary and slowing down. And that is being more consistent with my workouts. And of course, you know, traveling, there's no excuse. You know, if it's important to you, you make time for it. But it is difficult to stay on a good solid routine when you are traveling. So fitness is definitely gonna be something that I start incorporating much more frequently and much more consistently on a routine. But thank you guys so much for coming along and if you made it this far on this video, I appreciate you. And I'm excited to bring you guys along for this next big, crazy, big step for us. And I can't wait to share with you guys some, nor some more big projects that I have in mind. So I hope you guys stick along. And Jordan just came back from his run. So he can help me. Uh, what are we doing? End this vlog. Right in the vlog? <laughs> right in the vlog. Well, thank you guys again so much from the bottom of my heart. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment if you have anything to say. Email me if you have any questions. All that information is down below in the description. So. We love you guys so much. I love you. I will see you next time. <laughs>